What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This video comes from us from the YouTube channel, Mike Koloski. I'm not sure what the date was on this or where this happened because it doesn't say anywhere on the video or on his channel, but I think we can still learn something from this video since all police departments act relatively the same. Anyways, let's get to it. Hey guys. How you doing today, sir? I'm Trooper Yards of State Police. So the reason I got you pulled over is when I passed you coming down uh, off of Cool Spring back here, you, yeah. didn't, you didn't shut off your high beams. You are blinding me. I didn't have my high beams on, too. Yeah, you did. I promise you I didn't. I'm 100% sure you did, dude. Uh, okay. That's the reason I got you stopped. Do you uh, okay. have a driver's license on your boy? Um, I don't answer questions, sir. You don't answer questions? Nope. Alright. Well, are you the owner of the vehicle? Yes, I am. You are? Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, you don't, you don't want to give me an ID or anything? Not unless I committed a crime, sir. Okay. Well, I got you on a traffic stop, so you technically you, you have to, you uh, have to provide. My, all I'm asking is for, I'll ask you for name and date of birth if you don't want to give me your ID. Sir, I'm sorry, I don't answer any questions. You don't answer any questions. No. All right, you want to hop out for me? For what, sir? I, I'm asking you to hop out of the vehicle. Did I commit a crime? All right. Well. That is not play any part of that. I'm now. just asking if I committed a crime, sir. Okay. In one of the worst Supreme Court decisions ever made in 1977, Pennsylvania versus Mims, the court ruled that the officer is allowed to make you get out of the vehicle for officer safety. If an officer is in fear, he's allowed to ask you out of the car. That is what the ruling says. Now this officer never mentioned that he was in fear and this guy I think is lucky that the officer just gave up on asking him to get out because a lot of officers would have jerked him out physically and then he would have went to court and he would have still lost because of that ruling, Pennsylvania versus Mims. And I don't agree with the ruling or the way the judges always use it to justify police behavior, but it is what it is. You committed a traffic violation. But, uh, I mean, then write me a ticket. Okay, well, I need ID, so. Uh, plate's on the back, sir. I need you to hop out of the car. Uh, my license plate's on the back, sir. Yeah, well, your license I didn't commit a crime, sir. Vehicle, so. I'm sorry I did not commit a crime, sir. You flipped the UE and mm -hmm. said that I had my high beams on, and I did not. Yes, you did. Sir. I I promise you, I did not have my high beams on, sir. I'm not going to argue with you, you but if you're going to write me a ticket, I'll. Well, I need your I'll ID to write you a ticket. I, my license on the back. Well, it doesn't come back with your license. It's How does up. it not? It doesn't. It's under my name. My name is right there. Yeah, but you must have changed your address. It's my name on it, though. Yeah, but I don't have a date of birth, so I can't look you up. Why do you need to look me up unless I committed a crime, I, sir? I'm, that's you against want me my to Fourth ticket, Amendment. I can't look you up. I'm just I'm birthday. protecting my Fourth Amendment, sir, and that's what you protected. That's what you're supposed to protect, right? Yeah, but all I'm asking for but, is an ID. And all, all I'm saying is I didn't commit a crime. I like, what's your RAS? What's your RAS? It's a. I mean, it's a simple thing. I mean, if it's a traffic violation, write me a ticket. My license plate's on the back. Yeah, but I don't have your birthday. I then send birthday. it to the. Then send it to wherever it's going. You have my name. You have my name and my address. You have my name and my address. That's I'm, all you I'm, need, sir. I'm at the point. I'm being. I'm being super nice with you, dude. I'm asking you. To all right. Of you. Yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna arrest me if I don't give you ID? I mean, you have to provide. Are me you ID. going to arrest I'm me gonna, if I? I'm not gonna make this under a threat of arrest. Okay. Are you going to I'm arrest me if I give you? I'm, asking, I'm asking you a question, sir. Can you am please I answer the question? You if you fail to ID me. Yes. Yes, most likely. That's what you're going to do? Yes, Fail to ID. That's a secondary charge. Okay. This is the game you want to play? Okay, I'm going to give you my ID under a threat of arrest. Okay, I'm giving you my ID under a threat of arrest. Just, give me just so ID. you know. Do you know? What's your name and badge number? Trooper Yards at 14343. What's, your, what's his name and badge number? I'll have him come up I need, here. No, he needs to come up here too because you're violating my rights and you're going to know yeah, this. Right here. Yes, you. under a threat of arrest okay. because there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no crime. No, I don't. Not without a crime, sir. You are swore an oath to protect the Constitution of the United States. Why are you not doing that? I'm asking for your ID. That's a violation of my Fourth Amendment because I didn't commit a, a crime. Violation. This is not a traffic violation. Yes, it is. A traffic violation is not a crime, sir. There, who's the party? I'm asking. Who's the hurt party? Who's the victim? Will you give me who's your the ID victim? No victim, no crime, Will right? You give me your ID no victim, no crime, right? I'm asking for your ID. Here's my ID, sir. Here's my ID. Under Thank a threat you. of arrest, I'm going to give you my ID. Thank you. All right, I'm going to sue you for this. This is how you protect your rights against tyrants. Serve and protect for what? For a fucking light, bro. Pull to Yui for no reason. A liar.
I told you he was going to turn around and come get me. For what? Nothing. For what reason? Because it's 1 o'clock in the morning, right? That's about all he got. Under a threat of arrest, he just took my ID. So now we're going to see this in court. Because he just violated my Fourth Amendment right. So you better have a good crime to put down on that piece of paper, because I'm not signing anything. You should be ashamed of yourself. He honestly should be ashamed of himself. He's a very shitty officer. He should be ashamed of himself. Honestly. This is what my taxpayer dollars go to, for you pulling me over for what? For what? For a made-up bullshit lie. You better have some proof that I high-beamed you, bud. Because I will fight this shit in court. Try to write me a ticket to suck me for some more money because he's wasting time. No, that's not the way this works. This is You're not extorting me today, sir. Don't think so. It's a violation of my Fourth Amendment. Illegal search and seizure. Hi, Mr. Kowalski. Here's your ID back. There's that. All right, here's your traffic citation for the failing to show off your high beams. So if you want to grab a hold of that, I can explain it to you. I don't want that. You don't want that? Nope, that's not mine. Okay. Well, I'm gonna set you it. You right can here. set it wherever you want. Don't put it in my car. Don't, you don't, want don't it put it car. in my. This is my personal property. Do not put that piece of paper in my personal property. All right. I'll, I do uh, not accept I'll just that. Through a magistrate That's fine. Charge. That's fine. You we'll do, do what that. you got to do. Um, don't put that piece of so paper in my when car. When you receive the citation, you have ten days to respond. That's fine. Sure am I am I free to go? Am I free to go? As soon as I don't, I'm done explaining it, just because I don't need to hear. I don't need so, to hear yeah, you violate my rights guilty, anymore, sir. I don't need to hear you violate my rights anymore. So, well, if you don't respond, are you? Are am I free to go? Yes, sir. You are okay, free thank to go you. Again. You have a great day. I absolutely love this guy's fire that he has for the Constitution and knowing his rights, but I would highly recommend him go to his court date because he does not want to be out next weekend or the weekend after next and get pulled over and have a warrant out for his arrest and get taken to jail, get his car towed, spend two or three days in jail, lose his job, because that's exactly what's gonna happen to him if he doesn't go to that court date. Now, I agree with everything he said. Everything he said is constitutional law, but these crooked politicians, man, have made all these unconstitutional ordinances and codes, and if you don't follow them, that what I just said is going to happen to you. They're going to pull you over, take you to jail, tow your car, and just make it worse for you, buddy. Anyways, keep up the good work. Y'all get over to his channel, show him some support, subscribe, tell him I sent you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you later.